I, I think that uh, the one thing I've seen uh, time and time again is that uh, Prime Minister Maliki uh, in Iraq uh, and uh, other countries in that region uh, basically reject what uh, Iran is trying to do, view Iran as uh, having a destabilizing influence in that part of the world, don't support Iran in what they do, uh, and uh, my view is that uh, the region largely rejects Iran and its intentions, and I think uh, Iraq is at the top of that list. <laughs> And, and I think that it is uh, a disgrace that we have not spoken to them. We've been talking about Iraq. One of the first things that I would do in terms of uh, moving a diplomatic effort in the region forward uh, is to send a signal that we need to talk to Iran and Syria because they're going to have responsibilities if Iraq collapses. They have been acting irresponsibly up until this point, but if we tell them that we are not going to be a permanent occupying force, we are in a position to say that uh, they are going to have to carry some weight in terms of stabilizing the region. That's right. <laughs>